any last thoughts, you know, uh, uh, about the independent woman revolution, the independent woman culture? Yeah, at the end of the day, I think we need to educate each other. So looking at this film, looking at this project, I think it's great because we get a lot of different personalities, getting a lot of different cultures, getting the viewpoints from men, from women. Um, and from that um, package together, we get education. You know, my opinion might be different from somebody else's opinion, but at least you understand my mind frame and I'm gonna understand yours and we can talk to better understand each other and grow from that. You know, so that's what I, you know, I appreciate about this film. And as an independent woman, um, don't be afraid to be in a relationship and go all in. Um, just educate that person you're with. Um, have open dialogue and talk. Understand who that person is as a person so you can grow together. Um, don't allow the situation to grow. Um, without understanding who that person is across from you. Look that person in their eyes. Look in that person in their eyes, you see their soul. You know, if a person can't look you in the eyes, there's some insecurities that are involved. So find out where that root comes from and talk about it, you know? Um, and grow as, grow as people. Um, I love, you know, women out there. You know, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity to grow um, within relationships, within society. But don't feel the need to do it yourself. Don't feel the need to do it alone. It's cool to work hard, um, but everybody needs affection. Everybody needs love and care. Everybody needs somebody to talk to. Everybody needs to look at that individual and feel like I care, you know, so be, to be seen. You know, so as an independent person, again, um, just feel, don't feel the need to do it alone. And I'm gonna keep saying that because that's an important piece. You know, just have open dialogue and talk. You know, a lot of people make judgment on people without finding out why that person is the way they are or understanding. You know, so, you know, just have open dialogue and talk and hopefully this film will spark that. definition of an independent woman? Well, to me, an independent woman is somebody who do bad all by themselves. Doesn't have to rely on a man. A lot of them have their own businesses. My future depends on me. You can leave them and it won't be no deal because you can still do everything you're doing before them. I think that a lot of women think it means not needing anybody and I think it means the opposite. <laughs> I think a woman should define herself as independent by social status or economic class. You don't have to remind him you're making more money. You're not going to sit down and let me work all day. As long as he's pulling his weight. To me, it's not the dollar amount when it comes to a relationship. It comes down to the ambition of your man. And if it's about a partnership, then really, you give a shit where the money comes from. You can make less than me, that's okay. That's what she said. You know, a person who's a money status, I look at them as a prostitute to labels, a prostitute to material, a slave to cash. Why is it always like a double standard for a man to be a little cocky with his when a woman, she can't, she has to be extremely humble now that she has the money? I don't think that's fair. So I don't, I don't really gravitate towards the whole diva movement. I gravitate towards women. Beyonce is considered a diva and she's definitely an independent woman. If you have an ego, then you must go, period. A power couple. What's wrong with that? Why can't we have a power couple? You have, uh, you know, a married woman can say, I, I mean, I could be independent. I could sit on my own two feet. I, I don't choose. I choose not to take care of myself by myself. I choose to have somebody. Um, it's not like I feel like I have to have, you know, a man to complete my life. You know what I mean? I think he should be an addition. I mean, she's independent. She would, she would be able to sustain the house. Uh, 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 a certain level of stability for self lift without me. You know what I'm saying? I, I compliment and I add to that. Okay, this is what I got, this is what you got, you know. That tends to draw competition. With independent women, it's kind of tricky. I feel like I hear that a lot of independent women are getting stuck up more and more as the years go on. They're losing their feminine side, they going into the realm of being a man. To 
find somebody and to find love, you have to be willing to accept the person for who they are. Like, if you think that you're going to dominate everything and just tell me and be in control of something, then there's no leverage for me to grow. If he's not thinking that he doesn't have to be independent as well, then he probably, I don't know, I can't stipulate on what he's thinking. We need to create a way for these relationships to work and, you know, people to have expectations of what they could expect out of someone say I work, first of all, most relationships saying what they ain't going to do instead of what they are going to do. I work too, I'm not going to clean up, I'm not going to do that, 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 Well, you know what, I work. So that don't mean that your car, if your car break, I'm not supposed to fix the car, I still got to cut the yard, if That's the burglar true. break in, I still got to go get the, break, the burglar, and I work. I think if we want equality, which is what we say we want, then go ahead and like, oh, no, I'm going to accept it. And then, but having the man role, we're we're looked at as if we're probably, you know, what I'm saying, gonna instantly try to use. We have the negative factor always down there. Necessarily controlled by her man, but um, she can think she can support him the way she needs to. She wants a great man in her life, but you know what? She's not gonna go down, you know, go chasing one. Defend themselves and their thoughts and their ideas and uh, speak up. Attractive thing about a woman or a man is when they can say confidently who they are, whether it fits the norm or not. To me, that's independence. No such thing as an independent woman because we're all dependent upon each other.